Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. How much gold in a Tokyo Olympic gold medal? Now, you'd be surprised, and what else is in it as well? Let's explore! Are Olympic gold medals made of real gold? You may remember I recorded a video talking about what is inside of Olympic gold, silver, and bronze medals in uh, videos from, from the last Olympics. Well, these are a little bit different this time, but much of the information remains the same. But we do live in a different climate uh, because the Olympics don't have any spectators, and there's masks, and there's... Uh, uh, Olympians quitting and uh, all kinds of different things going on. And not many people are paying much attention to the Olympics these days. They've been politicized. They've become woke. It's a different world these days than in the past Olympics. Nonetheless, one thing remains the same for the most part is the composition of the medals and the fact that athletes still bite them. And they bite them for a specific reason. This is from Eurosport.com. It's unlikely you'll get sick of seeing Team GB stars posing with their gold medals, but that's Great Britain. But are you wondering why they all seem to bite their medal? Uh, Tom DeLay couldn't hold back the tears, or daily, as the national anthem played after he scooped up his first Olympic gold alongside partner Maddie Lee, but both were all smiles when posing with their medals. Many of the athletes... Uh, may well be wearing masks during the medal ceremonies, but that hasn't stopped them from biting their medals uh, for that signature Olympic photo. Um, so why do Olympic athletes bite their medals? Back in the day, it was a tradition to bite gold to work out whether it was actually made from real gold or, or whether it was fake. Um, the bite marks came out on the gold and then it was real because gold is a very malleable metal uh, and and its density means that you can bite into them very easily and leave an impression. That was practically, that's practically irrelevant these, irrelevant these days, but the tradition continues in sport, particularly the Olympics. However, nowadays, a more common reason athletes bite the medals is because they're actually told to by photographers. And here is the interesting news about this from the Tokyo Olympic Twitter page. We just want to officially confirm that the Tokyo 2020 medals are not edible. Our gold, silver, and bronze medals are made from material recycled from electronic devices donated by the Japanese public. And that tells us several things here as we get into this story uh, that I think is quite fascinating and intriguing that tells us a little bit about gold and silver. And by the way, copper too. But anyways, the tweet goes on to say, so you don't have to bite them, but we know you still will. Hashtag united by emotion. Okay, well, there they are in the Olympiad from the Olympics there, biting down on that gold medal, which, by the way, is not pure gold. If some of you who have been around long enough may remember when I posted a video about that before, a sea of journalists and photography first will often be at a short distance from the podiums, athletes pick up their medals and they will be asked to pose with it in their mouth to make for a great photo. Despite the tradition, Tokyo organizers recently reminded athletes their medals aren't edible like the gold chocolate coins we're used to at Christmas. I hope that was just a joke, kind of a cheesy joke, but hey, it was in that tweet as well. And then we did see that uh, confirmed and that they are not edible. Our metals are made from material recycled from electronic devices, and you don't have to bite them down. Uh, but you know you still will. And so there we see the two from Great Britain biting down on their gold medals. So are they really gold? This year's medals are made from recycled mat uh, material recycled from electronic devices donated by the people of Japan. So what is that recycled material? It could be plastic. It could be other aluminum, it could be um, wood for all that matters, but uh, anyways, uh, the material, they should have just went ahead and said it. 
because Olympic require, gold medals are required to be made from at least 92.5% silver and must contain a minimum of 6 grams of gold, which essentially means it's an electro, it's a fairly thick plating of gold on the on the 92.5% silver. The Tokyo 2020 Olympic gold medals contain more than 6 grams of gold plating on pure silver. Silver medals are pure silver, while bronze medals are red brass, which is 95% copper and 5% zinc. By the way, that's the comp exact composition of the Lincoln scent from 1982 and earlier. The Olympic gold medals at Tokyo 2020 weigh roughly 556 grams. So you know why the gold medals aren't gold with enough of them, enough of them handed out uh, being that large. In uh, previous years, they can be of different weights. But nonetheless, um, that is why they're not made of pure gold. Um, silver weighing 550 grams and bronze at 450 grams. So when you think about that, the six grams on top of the 550 of gold means that maybe the uh, 2020 Olympic gold medals contain exactly six grams of gold, if, it, if we're to believe the statistics here. But uh, nonetheless, what does this tell us? Recycled material uh, from electronic devices donated by the people of Japan. To me, that says, well, hey, uh, this stuff is recyclable, and even though it is consumed, just because something is consumed does not mean it cannot be recycled, which means the gold and silver can be recycled. And if the prices go up for gold and silver, uh, well, we know gold is mostly treasured. And so that stuff is being uh, consumed. And we see people uh, with videos and people doing it, uh, finding ways to recycle the gold from electronics, the electronic devices, circuit boards and the like, semiconductors. Um, but that will happen with silver as well. Um, there's a lot, there's a minefield of silver out there just waiting for the right economic opportunity, economic viability to be recycled. But nonetheless, you can see how big those metals are in their mouths there and how big this metal is in her mouth. Uh, and that is quite telling, uh, I believe. And this doesn't really give much, uh, um what's what's happening here but uh let's see this is the project from the, the numbers of what how this stuff was done all right very good this is interesting the collection of small electronic devices for the to 20 tokyo 2022 metal project closed on the 31st of march on 2019 the metal design was announced in of 2019 the tokyo organizing committee of the olympic and paralympic games conducted the Tokyo 2020 Metal Project to collect small electronic devices such as used mobile phones from all over Japan to produce Olympic and Paralympic medals. In the two years between April and March of 2017 and 2019, 100% of the metal, medals required to manufacture the approximate 5,000 gold and silver and bronze medals was extracted from small electronic devices contributed by people all over Japan. Every single medal will be awarded to athletes during the Tokyo 2020 Games is made from recycled medals. We are grateful for everyone, everyone's cooperation on this project. We hope that our project of recycling small consumer electronics and our effort to contribute to an environmentally friendly and sustainable society will form part of the legacy of the Tokyo 2020 Games. And of course, you know, that's a little bit of virtue signaling to environmentalism, but uh, one thing is for sure, recycling precious metals is a economically viable thing as, as well, too, to do. But uh, let's see. I don't know if this is going to be a video. Some of these videos are blocked. Uh, but let's see what uh, they have here to showcase. If we can see a little bit more about it in graphic form. Um, let's see what this looks like here. If we go through it here I guess it's just a numbers no actual images okay there's all right showing the recycling so there it is all right not much there anyway so there it is uh, number of municipal authorities and a bunch of, uh, of steps here that we have and some images of taking in the recycling this is pretty neat extraction of gold 
refining operation there, the pure gold taken out, six grams for each metal. And uh, there it is. Fascinating indeed. Let's see what we've got here. I'd like to see the pictures of the actual metal. You can see the donation of all Japanese. And so there we reached the end of it. Uh, but we don't see anything else on here that actually shows the metals themselves. But find that I'll, I'll post it in here. To, oh, here we go. Let's see what this here. Okay, that just shows the statistics for the metals. Not the actual metals themselves. I don't care about how many metals people have won. I want to see what the metals look like. I'll show it here later. Okay, so here we're looking at uh, the metals. So you can see how thick they are. Uh, so it's not a very clear picture, but uh, here's a closer look at the uh, gold medal up close. The kind of the Tokyo Olympic logo there, along with the the five rings. And here we see this version here, interestingly enough. We can see these are kind of a little bit different. The games of the uh, 32nd Olympiad, Tokyo 2020. And it looks like Lady Libertad in a way. Interesting. Very cool, uh, the, with a sort of a reminiscent of the past, with the original they started, I think, in Greece, if I'm not mistaken. So there's silver and bronze. Fascinating. Now there they are. All right, so there's a look at it. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.